I'm Parker Williams and my group is going to show you how to build a PC from scratch. This is Jeff with motherboard and CPU. This is the motherboard and it's a micro ATX. These two slots are, are the <laughs> PCI Express. It is where the video card goes and here's the AGP slot. It is where the it's the older slot where um, the video card is is put into. This here is where these two slots are where you put your memory cards in. And these two RAM here to support DDR2 and you can find them out if you check the manufacturer's website. This here is, is the is where you place the CPU <laughs> and to make sure your CPU is compatible with the motherboard go check the motherboard's manufacturers. There are six screws that, that hold the motherboard place and you are going to in, screw these screws. Now I'm going to put the motherboard and screw it in, in the computer case. But before you put the motherboard in, make sure you're grounded. Use an uh, anti-static wristband. Make sure that you align the holes correctly so, so the screws will fit perfectly. Okay, I'm going to screw these screws in with a screwdriver. This one's in fit. So. I'm going to install the CPU, which is the central processing unit, and it is it's the brain of the computer. And you're putting in the CPU, follow the um, you're located here, and put it in the CPU socket. Close it up. Hi, my name is Scott. Uh, before the round. What is it? What does it stand for? It's supposed to hold by the edges. Don't hold it by the sides at all. So just by the edges. Um, what is it? What is it? Do? This um, this volatile um, memory um, is not. Um, it doesn't store permanently. It only stores while everything's running. So this how you install it. And um, just remember, just hold it by the edges, not by the side. Okay. Make sure you put it in and it's good and just press it on both sides evenly. Just until it click. Okay. Alright, when you hear the click, it's good. Okay. And now this is the heat sink. Um, this uh, help cools down the CPU. Also, um, you're supposed to put some thermal paste right here before you put it on. But yeah, put it, show you put it on. This is the bracket that holds the uh, heat sink. So I'm gonna install this first. You then will put some thermal paste right here. This is where it goes on top of it. Hi, 
my name is Jerry Jones. I'm going to install the power supply into the desktop right now. There will be like a little space right here to input the power supply. And you just have to put it in. Alright, uh, you do not need to ground yourself when inputting the power supply in. Cut, cut. And, and then there's at least four screws so to hold in the power yeah. supply. And then just cut right there. Yo, oh, Jerry, do you do not need to ground yourself? All right, it's me, Parker Williams, again. All right, I will be installing the CD-ROM drive. I will be installing the CD-ROM drive and the hard drive. All right, first, CD-ROM drive. It's where we put the CDs and DVDs into the computer to watch movies, download data, and stuff. So first, you stick it in here. All right. Then you're supposed to find the screw, put the screw in to hold it in place. You're going to need the faceplate to put in. Okay. Now, this is the hard drive. The hard drive is the, per uh, the more permanent storage for all your data and it does you don't lose it once the computer's turned off. So grab myself some rails. Then you just slide it in. Go ahead. This is the hard drive fan. This helps keep the hard drive cool and it helps it from stop or uh, not overheating. So over there. Then you plug it in down here. Okay, now I'm gonna plug in all the wires in. Before you plug in all the wires in, you will need to ground yourself. And the first thing I'm gonna do is the 24 pin connector from the power supply into the motherboard. Okay, next I'm gonna uh, put in the SATA cable connecting to the DVD and to the hard drive to the motherboard. And then these are the two SATA cables, or, or the two SATA are inside the motherboard to connect the SATAs. Next, we're gonna install the second SATA cable to the DVD drive to the motherboard. Once that's done, connect it to the mother inside the motherboard. And then next, you will connect the power connector from the power supply to the DVD drive and to the hard drive. Next, you need a 4 pin connect to the motherboard from the power supply. Once that is securely, all the wires are now plugged in. Now you will uh, unground yourself. Put the case back on. Then once you put the case cover on, you'll turn on and put in your operating system inside and then your computer should work.